Oh, it's no face movement, and we're bringing you the new Pope. It's March the 14th, 2013, and it's strange on the day this guy gets elected, March the 13th. All right, um, today's official first day, March the 14th. It's uh, Thursday. Thursday represents Jupiter. The same day Pope Benedict left office, Jupiter. Um, it represents Sagittarius, half man. Half animal. His real name is, I, I think that's how you pronounce it, Hugo M Mario Bergoglio. And I apologize if I slaughter his name. But um, he's the first pope to ever be named Pope Francis. Alright, I made a video called The Last Pope. And I tell you guys who's the last pope. Alright, and it's still accurate. The guy is the last pope, but before. I bring you up, and I start off the video with the Jesuits, the uh, Jesuits priests. Excuse me for that. Um, what the Jesuit pri priests do within the Catholic religion is change the time. All right, it's change the time, the place. They're the Marines of the Catholic Church. All right, I'm gonna have the links at the bottom. It's kind of weird that he's a Jesuit priest. He's in the secret society, folks. Alright, the Society of Jesus. Um, his first name, Hugo, means farmer. His middle name means Mel Ver Verily. That means uh, Staneman, beautiful. So, uh, farmer, beautiful. His last name, um, couldn't find any meaning, so I had to go through things. And it came down to his last name, meaning. Ethio and Ethio means noble. So he's a farmer, beautiful, noble. And he picks uh, his name St. Francis. And there's two St. Francis when we get into it. Um, the first St. Francis, St. Francis Asius. Alright. Um, St. Francis was known as Francesco di Pedro di Bernardon. Sorry for my these names. But St. Francis is like this Pope is taking his name supposedly after. His middle name is Peter. Alright. There's a connection. Peter the Roman. Alright. Um, the other St. Francis was a Jesuit priest. His name was Francis Xavier. We're going to do another whole video. We're going to put a little movie down uh, called The Next Pope. And it's a pre-sequel to The Last Pope that we made ahead of time. But we put the formation together in The Last Pope. Right, We first talked about the Jesuit, how they're going to come in and change uh, the Catholic Church. He's not the last pope, folks. All right, What he's going to do, since he's a Jesuit priest, He's going to bring in the humility. He's going to bring the Catholic Church back where it is and bring in the new religion. All right? the, uh, to bring in the new religion. The Society of the Jesuits. All right? It's been around for a while. Its symbol is the sun. All right? It believes in the Second Vatican Council that John Paul II created. They want to create a religion between Islam, that they created in the first place, Muslims, um, Christianity, Jews, Catholic, they want to bring it all together to create the new religion, and the new religion is going to be the Society of Jesus, the Jesuit Society. It's going to bring the humility back in, alright? Now, the Ten Heads of the Beast is the same way as the Ten Countries of the UN. you got South Asia, there's ten administrative unions to the Jesuit priests. All right, 10, administrative union. You got South Asia, United States of America, South Europe, West Europe, East Asia, South Latin America, Africa, North Latin America, East Europe, and Central Europe. The same kind of way that the UN is split up, the 10 heads. All right, folks, kind of unique, right? And then when we go to Pope Francis, since he picked that name, all right, he's a humble person, supposedly. Um, he never really got all the perks of being cardinal instead of, living a high class carnal life. They show him living a low class. He lived a low class. That's how the Jesuit priests are. And isn't the Jesuit mystique the people that whip their self too, right? 
self-flagellation. So they self-flagellate too, all right? Um, what's different about this is uh, when you look at his armor, all right, the same thing as the other uh, cardinal that is going to be the last pope because his whole name means, you know, the spirit. Um, but he's gonna he's gonna reign. Um, I don't think he's gonna be for a while. I think he's gonna reign for a short time. I believe he's gonna reign just for a short time. Just enough to get the orders and then change around them. All right. Um, today on Thursday, Jupiter's day, right? Uh, his armor, it's unique, is the sun, the Jesuit symbol right here with the three nails. Three nails that make the cross, the IHS, the Society of Jesus, the Sun, the Light. He has a five pointed star. And then he has grapes. Alright. And you got that triangle thing. Alright. And you got uh, what Mystique says the cardinal hat looking like a UFO shooting down the light. The same thing as the last Pope. Unique. Alright, folks. Um, pope Francis is going to be different. He was born December the 17th. He's a Sagittarius. Sagittarius symbol is half man, half beast. I can't stress that enough. He comes in humble. Pope Benedict the Sixteenth is still out there. Um, he's not the Pope no more. But today, on the Fourteenth, uh, Pope Francis, the first ever Pope named Francis, is going to meet with Pope Benedict the Sixteenth. All right. And uh, what's unique about his name Francis is that Francis of Assisi is. His middle name was Peter. There's a connection. All right? He's humble. Peter. The Roman part or the rock part means that uh, he's a Marine. The Jesuits are Marines. And he's also very connected in electronic devices. Look, I told you the Mark of the Beast. The RFID chips right, is in all cell phones and all communication devices, all electronic devices now. Or right? you can access that. And this Pope is very, very social. Very in electronics since they first started off. That's what the Cardinals were looking at him to. He's humble. He's humility. All right, folks. He's electronical savvy. Uh, in the communication with Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. This is the Social Pope. Savvy. Social savvy. This is what they need. All right, folks. Um, Pope Francis is connected with Saint Francis asses. All right, and they take. His middle name, if, if you take uh, St. Francis, uh, middle name, it means Peter. His dad's name is Peter. Um, uh, St. Francis Ex uh, Xavier, Xavier uh, excuse me, um, is the uh, saint for the Jesuit. There's two. And then the Holy Roman Umpire, you had Francis I. It was House of the Hasburg, Lauren. It was the first of them, thirty-first. All right, and the last of them, Francis the second. All right, is the last of the Francis the second. This Pope, when you look at him, he looks strong. He looks cunning. Um, but I believe he's only going to be in office for five to six years. All right, and um, Pope Benedict is going to outsurvive him. And that's the truth. For the last pope. The last pope is the next pope. Um, go check that out. But first they had to put the Jesuit back in order. To reform the Catholic Church again. One more time. Alright. And they're the only people with the power that could do this. Alright. Remember there's ten administrative units. Alright. The ten administrative units just looks just like the UN's ten. Alright folks. These are the ten kingdoms. Alright. And don't forget, on March the 20th, 2013, Obama is going to the Middle East to get peace with this covenant of the people started. He's entering the city of Jerusalem five days before Passover, the same day the Heavenly Father's Son entered Jerusalem, riding on a donkey. But this time, Barack Obama is riding on a donkey, but he's a Democrat. All right, He ain't the Antichrist, but he is one of the Ten Kings. All right, folks, I want everyone out there to be prepared. He's the Ten Kings, and one of the Ten Kingdoms is the United States of America, right here. I want everyone out there to be prepared. We're about to put a little movie together with this Pope and the last Pope. This is the No Face Moon. Please rate, subscribe, comment. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Blogspot, and uh, Critterbox, Gallic Production. Seems like they shut down.
but I'm also subscribed to me, Mystiques and Astrology and Astronomy. Um, those are my backup channel, Mystique Astrology and Astronomy. And this guy is connected to Peter, um, the Roman, right? By Peter is the middle name of St. Francis. Um, the Roman part, the strong part, is connected to the Jesuit order. Alright, folks? They're the Marines. The Jesuit is the secret society within the Catholic Church that will go out and kill people, folks. Alright? And they're part of the Thule Society of the Nazis. But we're going to put that in our video. Um, he ain't the last pope. There's one more pope. Or maybe maybe one more, one or two more popes. But he is here to bring the Ten Kingdoms. This is the No Face Movement. Move, move to next time. Facing off. Oh, right, one more thing. Did I show you guys the White Horse? Um, on March the twelfth, on Wednesday, on Tuesday, the White Horse. There's a solar flare and it looks like a White Horse. You can see the smoke coming out of its nose. You can see the two eyes, the mane. The white horse, the last horseman. Let's look at that for a minute. This is the no face movement. Move movement to next time, facing off.